The government's deficit numbers are worse this year than last, and the economy is still sputtering. So what's the government going to do about it? Today's federal budget has none of the major stimulus spending of past years, not a whole lot of new money, and none of those big surprises like killing the penny. So what does it have? A new job training program, some spending on infrastructure, and a vow to close tax loopholes and stop tax evaders. The Departments of Foreign Affairs and International Development will merge. We'll have a reaction to that in a few minutes. But first, more of the details from our senior correspondent, Terry Malevskin. Malevsky. Terry. Well, Wendy, the government still says it is going to eliminate the deficit by 2015. It also claims to be offering billions in new spending. But in truth, most of that is just rebranded to make it look new. And the budget is chipping away at the deficit. The minister and the prime minister say they are focused on jobs. And the item they chose to highlight is a new program to match skills training to real jobs. Training in Canada is not sufficiently aligned to the skills employers need. The plan is called the Canada Jobs Grant. Ottawa is offering up to $5,000 a person, and it hopes the provinces and employers will kick in another 5000 each, so potentially up to 15000 a person. It's a remake of existing programs, but industry likes it. Trained, uh, skilled workers is, is, is crucial to our industry and crucial to our economy. Without uh, the, the infrastructure that... that uh, uh, Canada badly needs. If, if we don't build it, the country will, won't uh, progress. A second focus is helping business by extending existing tax breaks for new machinery, for new hiring by small business and for aerospace, forestry and others. Then there is infrastructure. The budget trumpets a huge $47 billion in so-called new spending. But that's over 10 years and again it's really giving new names to existing programs. And deep inside the tables of budget numbers, we find that all of the new support for jobs and growth really amounts to less than $1 billion, just $900 million. Of that, the government hopes to recover $400 million from collecting more taxes and another $100 million from spending cuts. So the net effect of the budget is to add $400 million to the deficit. Still, the budget says economic growth will shrink the deficit from 26 billion last year to 18.7 this year, 6.6 in 2014, and a small surplus of just 800 million in 2015. In time for the next election, the opposition says, "Don't believe it." Stephen Harper and Jim Flaherty have consistently gotten it wrong with regard to their budget predictions. So it's not fundamentally an economic doc document as as much as it is simply a, an exercise in, in, in politics and, and propaganda. But on the government side, beating the deficit is not propaganda, it's what budgeting is about. Our government is committed to balancing the budget in 2015. Yeah. And that is what brought the Tory benches to their feet. There is no attempt in this budget to say, look, global growth is weak, it's not our fault, maybe we can't kill the deficit until 2016. No, this government wants to campaign on a balanced budget in 2015. We'll see if the global economy lets them. Wendy. Thanks so much, Terry. Terry Malewski tonight. Our senior business correspondent, Amanda Lang, is in Ottawa, too. So, Amanda, is this goal of a balanced budget in two years really feasible? Well, Wendy, the government is promising to shave $4 billion in program spending to balance the books. That's the coming year. The year after that, another $2.5 billion to be cut. What they didn't say is how they're going to do it. Very little details. Now, considering that program spending usually rises, these are significant cuts. We had heard talk about less spending for defense. We'd heard talk about reduced benefits for the public service workers. But today, nothing concrete. So does that just mean that there's more details to come? Well, it suggests that the budget implementation bill could be extremely complex. Wendy, remember all the complaints about the last omnibus bill? It did say in today's budget that they are reviewing paid sick leave days for federal employees, but that's all it said. What exactly does that mean? We may have to wait for that implementation bill to find out. Thanks so much, Amanda. Thanks. Amanda Lang in Ottawa tonight.